normally a double-double machine. And we are ready to go. Paul Sells, Keith Kimball, Terry Oglesby, your officials from lovely, new, renovated Welsh Ryan Arena on a Thursday night in the Big Ten. Lancey here. False start. Away we go. Well, hand exactly where he wants to go. If you're Aaron Falzone, you've got to understand that. Not allowed to get to it. Vic Law brings it in for three. Well, he has looked like the Vic Law we saw in the non-conference season last five games. Eight uh, They are going to give Daniel O'Toole that jump shot from 15 feet. Right there, shoots an air ball. When we talked to Richard Pitino last Thursday, but you're going to have people's attention. He's been ridiculous from three-point range. How about that defense? He's also been off and awesome defensively. Coffee up and under for two. A little circus shot right at the freshman. Double comes. Extra feed to the corner. Hurt off the pivot. And Murphy out of the double couldn't put it in. Derek Parton doing a nice job coming over and helping out. Gataway. Maybe you look back at the end of the year and you think, man, if we do, it's a position, possession here, possession there. But now you. Kyle Singler against you. <laughs> I can't tell you anything, man. Kyle Singler dunked on me as a sophomore at Purdue. Uh huh. Let's just let everybody know it. It's on YouTube, I'm sure. <laughs> I hate working with you. Okay. <laughs> we'll save that one for the real. 10 5 Gophers. And here comes Minnesota off the rebound from Eric Curry giving things that show that he, he is a guy that plays with extreme energy. Derek Parton runs him over and scores. We need Derek Parton to get this thing going. Been a little bit inconsistent, which is really surprising for him against Nebraska's six against Rutgers. Usually he's a guy that you can count on for his 13 and eight. Just the second Minnesota and four and five freshmen at a time. So if you didn't, it, it was sink or swim. How uncomfortable does Amir Coffey look from three right now? It, it, he, like television, you, you hear the theme song, you've been watching it since you were a kid. And, and growing up in the state of Indiana, you know, high school basketball is huge, but there's a lot of classes I had in elementary school. We always have to check on it after the game. Curry is short with the jumper. You just look at Eric Curry in there for Northwestern in the passing game. Oturu blocked by Kopp, who's having a great first half. Well, the shooting has not been there for Miller Kopp, but plays like that have. That's... Harden stuffs it down for Northwestern. They stopped the bleeding there, and Minnesota with a breakdown, and they're picking their shooting guards and small forwards trying to bring the basketball up, and it's just such a challenge. Scores and highlights as well from around the country, including Michigan's demolition of Nebraska earlier today as that battle for the top of the Big Ten standings continues. I agree, actually. But fortunate for sure. Pardon off the window. He's been doing work tonight. Six for Pardon. Hop was posting up, Law takes the shot, and the tip won't fall. Pardon had a chance, Minnesota, but I think some other guys to make some shots, which has been the story for Northwestern throughout the entirety of this season. They've lost eight in a row entering play as Pardon finds his way out of the doorstep for two more. That was a grown man move going right through Daniel Oturu, kind of catch, take it out, run offense. Trust that you're going to generate another good one after you don't pat or take that transition look. Off for him. Kalsher had to go out to challenge the shooter, and nicely done by Parton. He gets that left jump hook. He's really good. He can go to the right as well, but... And that pressure, that's getting the team. We saw Purdue turn the ball over 23 times at State College. Harden drills a three, trying to keep Northwestern in it. That breaks at 3.15. As they say, there's a reason you're so open. Nobody ever say that about you. It depends on when you're talking to them, I guess. 
Harden with seven. Rimmed it out. Came off his eight. Harden challenged and fouled. He'll go to I just think the job that Mark Few does year in and year out, where they play a tough non-conference schedule, then you have your conference season where outside of St. Mary's, a lot of these games, you're going to be favored by double digits. Then NCAA tournament time comes around, you got to ramp it back up. And he has been up to the challenge of that. He always has his teams ready to play in March, and they're outstanding. They are so talented. Rui Hachimura, one of the best players in the country. He lose him so often in their offense. And guy that's really their only guy that's got it going. Get it into him, let him go to work. There it is. And a whistle as the ball hits the rim. The good things have happened when that ball's been entered to him. Play through your big fella. You're not making shots from the perimeter tonight. Why not? Why do guards forget about the post? They love to score. <laughs> if we're being real, because guards love to get buckets. Who doesn't? And big guys are at the mercy of those guys throwing the ball into the post. So unless you're like DeMarcus Cousins, and you're going to play on the perimeter and back guys down, which I don't see anybody that looks like DeMarcus Cousins out here. You're really at the mercy of your point guard and, and those other guys on the perimeter. Derek Parton, the all-time field goal percentage leader in Northwestern history. He has passed. Brian Westlop yet told me to get whatever I wanted to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you want it so bad. You know, you want to play well. And you have, Amir Cox is a guy that has aspirations, I'm sure, of playing at the next level. Got a couple fouls before 10. They used one of them. They don't use the ninth on this turn 